One of the continued conversations we've had around the England squad this camp this month is the continued absence of Steph Horton. Of course, Horton used to captain England before Wiegmann came in. She was the captain under Hegerisa, under Phil Neville, and of course under Mark Sampson. But she hasn't played for England since February 2021. She was actually named to Wiegmann's first squad in September 2021, but she had to withdraw through injury. And it's those niggly injuries we've seen from Horton over the last few years that have really derailed this latter part of her England career. In place, Wiegmann has not just installed... Leah Williamson is captain, but she's sort of firmed up a back line that's a little bit younger, that looks to the future a little bit more. So you've got Leah Williamson, you've got Millie Bright, a lot of Ruben Moy, Jess Carter's an option, May Letizia is definitely an option back there. And we've seen Lucy Parker come in this camp as well. So very much a look to the future from Wiegmann. Whereas the, the problem with, say, Horton, even though Serena has seen her play for Man City this, this calendar year, she hasn't seen her in England camp. She hasn't seen her doing what her and her coaches have asked of her. And that is always tricky to then bring a player in, especially on the eve of a World Cup. We know that Wiegmann is very focused. She's, she's very much the straight talker and doesn't always come across as the most sentimental. But Horton has never been a Wiegmann player, so I think there's not that degree of sentimentality there anyway, even if we saw more of that from the coach. But there's been a lot of talk about having a send-off game for, for Horton or just finding a way of getting her some closure because she's 34 now and, and she's kind of been in limbo through some of these injuries and she, you know, she's talked about having that closure whereas Wiegmann has said that the door is never closed although we do hear that it's kind of a stock answer you hear quite a lot from national team managers of a door not being fully closed but something being a little bit ajar isn't really enough room for some players to, to make their way back in. So I think what is likely is we will see a send-off game for Horton, but it won't be until after the World Cup because, you know, time time is ticking down until the start of the World Cup this July and, and Wiegmann will be so singularly focused on trying to get this squad ready for, 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 for the perils of the World Cup and you know, trying to find contingency plans. And you know, so I think we're seeing sort of a player like Lucy Parker because it's that look to the future rather than looking to say, oh, uh, bringing someone like Horton in who does have the experience but isn't really setting up for the future. So with the focus on the World Cup of trying to firm up this squad ahead of going to Australia, and England will be going in, in quite early July as well, so things will be, will be happening very quickly in the England setup. I think what we're going to see is a, a, a send off or a goodbye for Horton, but it won't be until after the World Cup, regardless of what actually happens this summer. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN. Plus.